So there are lots of ways to improve your audio in OBS. The correct way is to use some type of deessers and compressors and EQ and to work on some of the audio in post. But this video is not the correct way to do things. Instead, I'm going to give you a quick overview about how to improve your audio using the noise gate, noise suppression, and limit filters. The benefit of this way is I think it's really simple to understand. And I think by the end of this tutorial, if you found that you've had horrible audio in the past when recording from OBS, you'll have at least mildly better results. So let's take a look at how we might improve our audio. The way we're going to do this is by adding three filters. So if you're in OBS and you go over to your mic, you're going to right click and then select filters. Here you have a number of filters that you can add. So if you go over to this plus, you'll see there's uh, a number of filters you can play around with. The ones that we're going to focus on here are the noise gate, noise suppression, and limit filters. So you could add the noise gate by selecting it here. Since I already have it selected, we'll talk about each one of these three filters. Let's start with the noise gate. First, it's helpful to understand what the noise gate does. What essentially it does is it will mute any sound that's below a certain decibel level. The reason you would want to use a noise gate is because if when you are silent, if someone can hear the rumble of your air conditioner or a computer fan or some conversation that's happening in the background, this can be distracting, and so you don't want anyone to hear that when you aren't talking. So let's look at the two parameters associated with the noise gate. The ones that I want to focus on are the closed threshold and open threshold. What the closed threshold does is it tells OBS when to mute sound. So we want to set this to a level that's slightly above our background noise or any noise we want to eliminate. So how do you know what level to set it at? This is a good question that's sometimes often overlooked. So the way to determine when to the amount to set it is to let's first turn off all our filters. And what we're going to do is look at the microphone levels when we're not talking. To help see that the noise gate is working, I've added this audio visualization over on the left. And so we should be able to hear at least my computer fan running in the background and see this both picked up by the microphone and this audio visualization. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the noise gate off. So what we saw was that the microphone level was hovering when I wasn't saying anything around 55 to negative 50. And so what we'd wanna do is set the close threshold just above the background noise. So since I saw around minus 55, minus 50, I'm gonna set it at minus, let's say 50. And so what it will do is if the microphone picks up audio levels or sound that's below minus 50, it will mute it. So now with the noise gate on, when we are silent, we shouldn't see any, this microphone working at all, and we shouldn't see it in the audio visualization as well. I'm gonna shut up for a second. We should see a completely flat line. And so that's what we see. We see that when we're silent, we're not picking up that sound from the fan. There's no sound being recorded or taken in by OBS. One thing to note is that you might not actually even need a noise gate. You might not need it if there is constant, let's say audio, you have music playing as well or if you are constantly talking, if there's never a moment of silence, that background noise that you wanna cut off, there's never an opportunity for your person, anyone to hear it, and so you might not use, even need a noise game. The other thing to look at is the open threshold. The open threshold tells OBS when to start capturing sound. We wanna set this to a level that's below our speaking voice. So we make sure our speaking voice is recorded. And we want to be able to hear both the highs and lows. And so we want to make sure that this is low enough to capture any talking that we might do. So the way to determine when to, what, what level to set this at, is to kind of whisper and see, well, what is the lowest my audio gets while I'm talking at the lowest amount? So I'm whispering right now. I'm talking really quietly. I would say that, you know, around minus 30 here is when we want OBS to start paying attention and to capture any um, audio. 
And I could even set it a little bit lower. I think mine is 35 in case, you know, there's like lower levels of my conversation. The next thing to take a look at is this noise suppression right here. So you would add it in the exact same way. You'd hit the plus and then select noise suppression and it would add it to your list of filters. Recall that the noise gate mutes volume below a certain level and captures volume above a certain level. Well, let's say you can hear a computer fan or air conditioning or breathing while you are talking. The noise gate would not cut out this background sound that you could hear while the individual is talking above a certain level. So what we're going to need to use here is noise suppression. The idea here is that it's going to try to filter out or remove that fan that's in the background or air conditioner that's in the background or the person breathing. The parameter to look at is when we select noise suppression is you can pick the suppression level. If we push suppression level to zero, then there is no suppression going on. So it's not working at all. If we push it all the way to minus 60, then it's working as hard as it can. It's going to suppress as much noise as possible. The reason you don't want it necessarily at minus 60 is it might distort your voice as well. It's going to just try to remove any noise that's in your voice and kind of garble your audio. To get a better sense of the, how this noise suppression works, it's helpful if I you know, make this room and make the audio in here really bad. So I'm going to turn on a really loud air conditioner in here to test out noise suppression. So now that I have my air conditioner running, you should be able to hear not only that sound when I'm not talking, but also when I'm talking. So you can test out the different levels of suppression here. So here is the level of suppression at zero. So there's no suppression going on. And here is the level of suppression at minus 60. So one helpful way of thinking about this is that the noise gate removes any unwanted noise when you're quiet, while noise suppression works while you are talking or while your, your microphone is recording what you want recorded. The last thing to look at is what's called a limiter. A limiter is important, especially if there are very loud sounds. So let's turn this limiter on. And the way it works is if I were to come in and start shouting, or banging pans or making a bunch of loud noise arguing with someone what the limiter will do is it will kind of put a cap on how loud the audio or the sound that the microphone takes in in other words the limiter is used to prevent volume from peaking above a certain level so how do you know if you need a limiter well if you're looking at the microphone at the bottom here if it goes into anywhere it goes into the red you may start to get either clipping or distortion and so generally it's recommended that you have set a threshold on your limiter from anywhere from minus six dB to minus four dB or minus three dB. So you can set it anywhere in there and then it will prevent you any loud noise from being distorted. So again, let's test, you know, just so you see this in action. What I'm gonna do is say something very loudly with the limiter on and the limiter off. This is me talking loudly with the limiter on. This is me talking loudly with the limiter off. So hopefully you should notice a difference when the limiter is on, it prevents the distortion, the really loud sounds, it prevents the garbling. When the limiter is off, you can hear, the audio sounds terrible. So this video focused on how to improve your audio in OBS using these three filters. Again, this is not the most professional way of doing things, but it is a quick and I think easy to understand way to get better audio in OBS.